Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, I think when we came out second half, it was a lot better. Um, first half was a little rocky start from us, but we definitely turned around, and I'm proud of this team for, for how hard we fought. And, and yeah, we fought, fought to the end, but it was just unfortunate at the end. Yeah, I can just agree with Tay. I think uh, the first half uh, was just a tight game. Uh, both had chances, and uh, I think in the second half we come out good and created some really good chances. And yeah, I wish we would have got the three points points tonight. Tony, uh, great game today, obviously from both of you. But uh, could you speak about what was the difficulty about this Portland team breaking them down? And then talk a little bit about that uh, great pass that led up to your goal, Sophia. Oh, um, yeah, Portland is obviously have been for many years one of the best teams in this league, and I mean, I think we showed that we are uh, as good as them today, and uh, that's huge after one year in this league. And uh, yeah, if I talk about my goal, I got a really good ball from Jaden and. Uh, I saw that I had the opportunity to score. Uh, I was thinking to finish on one touch and she made a save but I got it back and I could put it back in the goal so that was uh, obviously nice to score tonight. And then just to follow up with Taylor, uh, what would you say about the calls that seem to always seem to go against you because of the physicality that you bring, whether you're up in the midfield a little bit lower, can you speak about the difficulties of that in your game? I. I don't think I should speak on that. Um, I just I'm at a loss for words. I'm just not gonna not gonna comment on that one. Uh, Sophia, obviously there was a lot of uh, balls, long balls to you on the wing today. Was that something that you planned coming into this game, or is that something that you sort of decided on the fly with how the game was moving? Uh, I think it was open. Uh... And uh, yeah, obviously I like to have the ball out wide and today I think I could get the ball in, in the wide areas and creating opportunities and also coming to crosses. Uh, obviously my left foot is not always the best when I cross, but I think I created uh, chances and even corners for the team and I'm happy about my performance tonight and I hope uh, I can bring that into more games and be uh, that player who can create chances, yeah. I think we left with pretty good. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, and then uh, obviously Portland's a super talented offensive team. Was there any sort of mental lapse after the goal and after Morgan came so close to adding a second that you think contributed to them scoring or is that just their talent offensively to be able to find a goalie? I think they're really good coming from, from a 1-0. Um, it was a really good header. I'm not going to take away from that, um, but yeah, it was it was definitely unfortunate for us. But we knew what we had to get. We had to get another one, and I'm I'm proud of how we responded. Just things that didn't go our way. For both, how much did you want to win this game before what happened last year in playoffs? Very much so. Yeah, that was. We we came in over prepared, um, but yeah, like I said before, it just it just didn't go our way today. Although one point is still is still good on our side. Do you wish to meet them again? Yes. Yeah. yeah. For sure. Um. So I asked um, Kaylin two days ago about being back at Snapchat and being back at home after almost like a month of not being here. And she said that, you know, having the fans is definitely going to give you an extra push. Did you feel that today? And how does it feel to be back? Oh, it feels great to be back. We love these fans. They they bring it every single home game, and we're just so fortunate to have them behind us, and there are 12 men on the field, so yeah. we're very fortunate to have the city behind us. Yeah, I agree. Uh, I love to play here. Uh, the fans is amazing every time, and like Taylor say, they are our 12th player, and yeah, <laughs> uh, I wish we could have uh, bring the three points home, uh, both for us, and but also for them. Sophia, the World Cup coming up in the summer, um, you know, you've been a consistent starter the last few games, you mm -hmm. scored today. How important has it been you know, to be a consistent starter uh, recently? Yeah, obviously huge for me. Uh, I didn't play that much in the Euros and I think I have, uh, I felt great in these last couple of games and obviously it's have been uh, great to score tonight. Uh, but right now I'm thinking just to do great here and performing for the team. and. 
yeah, have the team here and then we see how it goes if I go into the World Cup or not. Then obviously I want to do that, but yeah, right now my mind is here and to do as good as I can. Taylor, you had to put in a lot of work to, to get back on the pitch, so can you just tell us what it means for you to, to be back out there with the team and everything you went through to get here? Yeah, it means everything. Um, it's been a long month, I think. Um, but yeah, I did everything in my power to get back as fast as possible, and and this is my favorite place to be, and I'm just so happy that I could return and, and get a lot of minutes today. Um, yeah, I love this city, and I'm so grateful to, to be back. Yeah, obviously, conceding so late on is disappointing, but at the same time, I thought, you know, Kaylin Sherman had to be outstanding tonight again. Um, but again, we created chances, they created chances, we had moments in the game, they had moments in the game, so... From that respect, I have to be really pleased with our performance. I thought we could have potentially nicked it, but you know, I think a, a point is something that we have to be really pleased with. Every point matters in this league against the top, top side with the attack that they've got. Um, it's disappointing to obviously concede a goal from a set piece, but we'll learn, we'll live, uh, we'll learn this week. We've got a big week, we've got to recover well now. We've got another massive game on Wednesday against another top side, so yeah, it comes thick and fast. Uh, Going into it, obviously you're speaking about number one versus two in the league. Uh, can you speak about if this was exactly how you played, you thought it would play out in the match? And I mean, obviously, uh, add a physicality to the match as well. Yeah, I think obviously it was. You know, we have really. I think if even from last year, being an expansion team, we always had good games against Portland. Um, I think that was the same again tonight. I thought tactically they caused us a few problems in the first half with Smith dropping in and overloading our midfield. I think once we corrected that a little bit more in the second half, we looked a little bit more comfortable. Um, I thought we, we got a little bit tired at times because we, we turned the ball over. I thought we'd, we'd win it and then we'd give it back. And it was those sloppy moments if we end up spending more time without the ball. Um, but having said that, we're so, we're so um, exciting going forward when we play to our front three. We play beyond and behind and, and we can also play through and then... Jaden comes on and makes an incredible impact. We know what she can do with the ball, and she did exactly that. And having Taylor come back is huge, obviously. Um, could you speak about maybe the challenges in coaching a player to when you see that her getting called for fouls based on her statue, it seems at times? Well, it's very annoying. Um, she gets fouled. We get fouled in the lead up. She then puts her foot in. I think wins the ball quite clearly, gets called for a foul. And, it's frustrating because it happens to her week in, week out, yet she gets no protection at all from anybody. Um, and it's just the inconsistencies, really. If, if, if she's going to get called for fouls, then she should get fouls against her in protection. So, yeah, it's just, unfortunately, it's one of those things she's going to have to deal with throughout her career. All we can do is arm her with the right positioning tactically so that she you know, gets in the right position defensively. And, yeah, it's, it's the same every game. So it's the same stuff, different day. Um, obviously, at least two more matches before this season, potentially three or even four. Can you talk about, uh, Taylor said that you guys were over-prepared for this game, especially with part of the intensity that you've had you know, after the last year in the postseason. What, what more does it mean when you play Portland than when you play anyone else? They're a good side, so I think you, you have to. I'd, I'd say we prepare consistently for every opponent, no matter who. Um, we also have to be very diligent in our defensive shape and where we defend and how we defend because when you've got a front three of Weaver, Smith, Sagita and then you've got Sinclair and Dunn sitting behind it you've got to make sure that you minimise the spaces that they can play in we were a little bit more aggressive in front foot when we went to Kansas and Houston we sat off a little bit more against Portland because of their, their speed and um, ability to go in behind and, and you know, have a go at you on transition and also open up the spaces. So, yeah, I'd say we're, we're diligent with every opponent. I love these games against Portland. They, they test me as a coach tactically. They test the players physically, technically and tactically. And it's a great advert for the women's game. Uh, and then obviously you've got the rain midweek and then Gotham on the weekend. Three really good opponents. How are you going to handle squad rotation? We'll have to handle it. It's not a choice, you know, it's a must. Obviously we're still missing, you know, Van Eggman, Kelsey Turnbow. Meggie hopefully will be back for some minutes on Wednesday, but only limited. Taylor's still going to be limited, so we'll have to utilise our squad. 
Um, I think we did that again tonight, obviously giving Danny a little rest at the end because I thought she started to look a bit fatigued. And we'll have to change things for Wednesday night, we know that. Um, and then we've got, we seem to be one of the only teams that seems to have a Challenge Cup game and then a really long travel trip. Um, consecutively, we do it against Gotham, we do it, we have 48 hours between our Challenge Cup game and Chicago away. Tell me if that's player welfare. Um, so, yeah. We'll manage our squad accordingly. I wish our, the NWSL would also give us the chance to manage our squad accordingly. Any other questions? 18,000 tonight. The fans were really behind y'all. Talk, talk about them and how they show up for the team. Unbelievable. I, I, when, um, I don't have many moments where I kind of get a bit blown away because I'm very serious, as my players will tell you. I'm very focused and in the moment. But... And I'm not for all the fanfare because I'm very British. But when that flyover went over at the beginning of the game and the fireworks went off and the national anthem was sung and I'm obviously not American. And then the kickoff went and the fans were electric. I, I just have immense pride in this club, this community, this, this city and what it's been able to, to achieve in such a short space of time and the way the city gets behind our team. I'm so, so proud to, to be part of San Diego, part of this community and part of this club. And follow up to that, this team has been through a lot of resiliency these last couple of months. You know, what's impressed you the most up until this point about this team? Their shift in mentality after the Washington game. You know, we know we wasn't good enough. We weren't at the levels physically, mentally. Um, but the way we shifted, and we were on the road for three games, the way we shifted against Kansas got a result. The way we shifted against Houston and you know, was in complete control of the game in the second half and then to come here and have so many injuries to big key players and people just turn out results and, and put, put in performances and we're just, yeah, like they never fail to kind of make me proud as a, as a head coach and we know we're, we're nowhere near where we want to be but I think if we can continue to work hard and continue to develop and progress then you know, we're onto something special. Uh, did the Great pass from uh, Jaden, the goal from uh, Sotio. Is that how you envisioned scoring in the We knew that we could get in behind them. Um, and it was actually, we, we managed to get it into Jaden's feet. And Jaden's vision and ability to pick a pass that breaks a back line is some of the best I've seen in the game. And I've been in the game a long time. So it's getting her in the right positions to be able to pick the ball up. And then we need threats behind. And it was great, you know, that so. You know, gets in on goal and it's a great pass and we knew that we'd also create chances in behind which we did with Alex you know one ball in behind and we knew that we, their, their back line is susceptible to that so we knew that either or would, would give us a, a chance to score goals.